welcome back to my channel mama education and it's me melanie and today we will make a or we will make an dun -dun 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 -dun, esl hammer okay so i will teach you this esl hammer game that you can use to teach a uh, younger students okay so i'm gonna explain this before we move into making this diy hammer so like for example your lesson is all about animals okay after you taught the animal words and your student uh, and after your student familiar with the animal words it's time to uh, to have a game okay so this is how it works so you just um, uh, just uh, get this all and put it on their back since the since the um hook hook fastener is at the back so just align this like what i'm doing right now okay actually i use colorful animals or any colorful materials so that i can get my students attention and students love colorful things and cute things okay so like for example you will say the word um, I want you to find where is the giraffe okay just okay just pong pong <laughs> like that and if the students get the correct answer like for this one I get the giraffe and then it's time to blow the flute so it means they got the correct answer. So uh, um, if if the students forgot uh, forget the answer, you can just give hint. Okay, it's animal color, like or anything, any hint that you can uh, that you can uh, give, so that your students can answer it correctly. Okay, so now uh, I. Expect so after after that you can give them um, stickers or some prizes okay so let's move on to making our DIY ESL hammer okay so what you'll need is um, hook and loop fastener okay and of course you need hammer actually i bought this around uh three dollar or four dollars something like that it's cheap uh, and also they have the bigger one if you want to use the uh, bigger hammer then it's okay but i prefer to use this smaller one so um just it just put this just put the uh loop fastener on the bot side of the hammer okay it's very easy right <laughs> okay so and of course let's try this in the elephant okay done so uh this is a different hammer it has a bubble you can make bubble out of this hammer so uh, if the students get the correct answer you can just uh, let your students blow or make bubbles like that because kids love bubbles okay so uh, second uh, second idea you can use this sleeping uh what do you call this a sleeping mask okay just uh let the students wear this mask yes mom i'm ready <laughs> okay so uh, let the students hold the hammer and let them uh find or get any animals that they want like for example this one okay so we can ask what animal is this okay oh deer oh good job so if they get the correct answer again let them or let your student make some bubbles 
Okay. And of course, you can just um, prepare some some stickers or some uh, some candies if you want to just uh, just to make them feel uh, very uh, very happy or uh, like that. So that's it for now. I hope you guys uh, find my video very helpful. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos about teaching younger students or teaching uh, ESL students. So bye for now. Bye bye everyone.